With the curtain closing on Demon's Souls PvP, I wanted to release at least one video discussing this gem of a game. It also gives me a great excuse to try out my new camera, and basically is a test for showing more game footage in the future. First thing, let me say that I am well aware that only the North American servers are being shut down, as they are run by Atlas. I know the Japanese and European versions of the game will remain afloat, but as I do not currently have the budget to pick up another version of a game I already own, I am considering this my last month of playing Demon Souls. Online, at least. Besides, it will only be a matter of time before the European servers become dismantled as well. When I first wrote this letter out, I realized I was writing far too close to a review, and that is not what I want. Reviewing a game two and a half years after it has come out is probably a waste of time. The worlds of Demon Souls are certainly something to behold. Especially if you're experiencing them for the first time, the environments are eerie, terrifying, and beautiful. Boletaria Castle in particular is amazing. Even now it feels as if a gigantic castle town, the likes of which Anor Lundo cannot compete with. That said, now that I was taking the game apart to get through it as fast as possible, as opposed to merely enjoying the experience, I did find the levels rather simple and short. My nostalgia had me remembering them much longer and murderous. I absolutely love some of the bosses in this game. Flame Lurker and Penetrator, to name a couple. Their fights will always stick in my mind as some of the best in gaming history. However, after playing Dark Souls especially, the majority became too simple and a pushover at that. I walked through every boss in the game with this new character except for the Fool's Idol, who only killed me once because the same floor trap stunned me multiple times and I got skewered by spells. This was with an unglitched, no dupes character too. This is not to take away from some of the designs, however. Demon's Souls is an excellent example of the creativity in gameplay and graphics that From is capable of. What I found most strange in my post-DKS playthrough was the Nexus. I recall quite vividly in 2009 and 2010 that I would be begging to return to that home while in a level. It was safe, comforting, and truly felt like a world of death was just outside every archstone. While it says nothing negative about the gameplay itself, this playthrough the world broke down into mere levels for me, and the Nexus was nothing more than a hub it actually is. Again, it's probably Dark Souls that is to blame for this, and I'm likely spoiled for most other games here on out. There's something slightly loose and rabid about the controls in Demon's Souls that I can't quite put into words. The gameplay feels just slightly unhinged and chaotic at times, which is strange to say, because I remember specifically thinking two years ago how it was the tightest and most accurate combat system I've experienced. Its spiritual successor now holds that reign, but that isn't to say that Demon's Souls is poor. It's only different, and I don't actually have an insult against it. Besides, let's get to the most important and romantic part of this letter. The characters. As cool as some of the NPCs and bosses are in Dark Souls, they don't hold a candle to the brilliance that is the Demon Souls world. The Maiden in Black alone puts all of DKS to shame. Ostrava, Bjor, Yuria, Frank, Thomas, I love these people. The Knights of Boletaria, having to fight them as demons and black phantoms, is perhaps my favorite chain of bosses from any game. The Dragon God puts the Bed of Chaos to shame, and the Old Monk boss concept, that of summoning a player as a boss itself, is wondrous. Then of course there is Garl, Selene, and Astrea. The scene did not have as much impact this time around as it did two years ago, but I still wanted Garl to kill me, to stop me. If somehow you are watching this video and haven't played through Demon's Souls, let me just say that you were never feel as such a villain as you do at the end of the Valley of Defilement. That brings me to the PvP section, which is the light and glory of this game, right? Well, yes and no. See, the biggest problem is that the invasions are backwards in DES. If you invade randomly through the use of a black eye stone and attack on another player, then there is no penalty upon failure. There is only the reward of gaining souls and your body. However, if you use a Red Eye Stone and engage in a Mutually Desired Duel, you lose a Soul Level upon death. What? I can't believe I had forgotten about that. This whole time while PvPing in Dark Souls, I had been thinking how much better Demon's Souls was. The Soul Level losing thing is madness, however, and finding it again flipped my brain's opinion upside down. 
Even if you know how to dupe souls, at level 120 it's a pain to return to the Nexus, consume some souls, and speak to the Maiden in Black. I actually found a lot more gangs and jumpers waiting for me, which was surprising, but thankfully it is easy to escape through the use of the White Eye Stone. The amount of gear in Demon Souls is definitely limited, and this is showcased in the PvP. As you've been able to see in this vid, I am trying not to use one of the handful of commonly acceptable weapons. That isn't to say that it's necessarily bad, but now Dark Souls seems all that much better as just about every weapon is worth using. I think the last thing I have to mention is the second chance miracle. I could be crazy, or I could be remembering incorrectly, but I swear that back in the day this miracle was frowned upon. If you used it, then you were considered dishonorable and a noob. When I when first starting to PvP in Demon Souls again, a week ago, I was finding every opponent's health suddenly replenishing. At first I thought it was a glitch of some kind, but then a fellow reminded me of the second chance miracle. I was told that I should use it as well, as everyone does. Am I really that insane? What the hell happened? It was supposed to be one of the huge blemishes on this game's face, not celebrated and hoarded by every player. Ah well. I refuse to end on a negative note. Demon Souls will always be remembered fondly in my heart, even if I never play it online again. It has some of the best NPCs I could ask for, haunting environments, and incredibly interesting bosses. Umbasa.